What's behind that? The claims about Dominion, a break with Sidney Powell over the weekend. What's behind that, and uh, what is uh, the motive, uh, the the reason uh, for the split between uh, Powell and uh, Giuliani at all? Well, I think it's because we're pursuing two different theories. Our, uh, our theory of the case to get to the Supreme Court now in four places, and it's soon going to be in two others, and there'll be an overall lawsuit, is uh, b basically uh, misconduct of the election by state officials in at least five or six different states in which the misconduct of the election involved deprivation of constitutional rights for the president. And, uh, uh, for example, uh, in one part of the state, you could fix a ballot. Democrat part. Other part, part of the state, you couldn't fix a ballot. One part of the state, the ballots were examined. Another part of the state, they didn't care if the ballots were examined. Yeah. In, in Pennsylvania, there are 680,000 unexamined ballots that virtually were put in secretly by Democrats alone. That's outrageous. <laughs> that, that is misconduct of the election. Elections are supposed to be conducted under the auspices of the laws passed by the legislature. And in fact, they made a mockery of it in Pennsylvania. The only place maybe worse is Michigan, and particularly the city of Detroit. Uh, the city of Detroit probably had more voters than it had citizens. I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating a bit, but uh, all you have to do is look at, at statistical data, and you can see that the fraud was rampant and out of control. What happened this time, Lou, they had these mail ballots, which I think was always part of the plan. They always cheated somewhat with absentee ballots. But for example, they only had 450,000 absentee ballots four years ago in Pennsylvania. This time they had 2.6 million. That's like, you know, that's like letting a couple of thieves free all night in Tiffany. And these expert voter fraud uh, uh, people, which you, you got, you've got to say that Pittsburgh and, Pennsylvania and, 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 and Philadelphia and Detroit have a great expertise in voter fraud. It isn't the first, first election they've stolen. But this time they had massive ballots to do it with. And we have evidence. The evidence has been presented. And the media lies that we have no evidence. They're just too lazy to read our 100 affidavits, which are on the public record, from American citizens well, you and whose I, votes you, were stolen from you them. And I, yeah, I, I think we should not, uh, in any way, uh, besmirch the national left-wing media by calling them lazy. I think you and I both know that they are politically corrupt and aligned through their corporate ownership <laughs> with the establishment that means to uh, to carry out its will, uh, even in an election uh, of uh, you know in which uh, 74 million people cast votes, apparently not knowing uh, what the polls had told them going into it. Suppression polls, as it turns out, and as the president points out. So here we are, three weeks tomorrow from the election. We're moving toward those dates of the, uh, of the 8th of December and the 14th of uh, December. How, how, uh, how much flexibility do you have and how urgent uh, is the, uh, are, are those uh, deadlines that approach? Oh, the deadlines are urgent, no question about it. Uh, there isn't a lot of time, but there's time. And, and, the, and the fact is that the facts are there. We just need to get them. Uh, before a trier of fact or before a court that'll be fair and we'll listen to them. I mean, the court the court in Pennsylvania cut it off without listening to a single fact. And I don't know how, how the judge could have concluded that the facts aren't substantial when they haven't even been presented yet. <laughs> They're really kind mm -hmm. of... And on a motion to dismiss, well, you're not supposed to consider that. So you're... you're uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we haven't yet got a, well, gotten a fair decision. We will. We got to be a little patient. One fair decision, one good hearing, and this will turn all around. And Rudy Giuliani in charge of making sure that that happens. Uh, we appreciate your time, Rudy Giuliani. Thanks for being with us. Uh, come back soon, please.